Ever here, and today I will be doing a quick tutorial on how to make a game battle signature for your About Me pro game battles profile. And I will be using Photoshop CS4, but it doesn't really make a difference if you use CS5 or CS3. So to start out, go to File New. Make sure the width is 300 and the height is 350. Resolution is 72 color mode RGB 8-bit and transparent background contents. Press OK. Let it create the file. Let's spread this out a little so we can see. And you have that. So, you want to click your paint bucket tool and go to the foreground color and the color code for the GB sidebar is 2A3035. Press OK and just fill that in and hold on my layers aren't showing up All right so then create a new layer by just going to layer and new go to your paintbrush tool actually sorry your custom shape tool and that is you right click where it probably says uh, rectangle tool you go to custom shape tool and I will put a link in the description to download the game battle shields and as you can see I have all the shields here so, let me go ahead and just pick one out. Uh, go with this one. Oh, wait, first you want to make sure your color is a different color other than the background. And just sp spread it out like that. So, I guess. I'm just going to try to get it perfect. There we go. Alright, so once you have that, uh, Double click it or right click and go to blending options. We're going to want to drop the shadow, give it an outer glow, click on that, change blend mode to normal. I'm oh, sorry, to normal, opacity to 100. Uh, click the color and I'm going to make it white. Now go to stroke and yeah, just click stroke and then gradient overlay I usually like to do click on this I'm going to make it I'm gonna switch it actually uh... how do I do that? Oh, never mind. Uh, I'm gonna make it darker I'm actually gonna switch the colors around and to do that you just click these little things and go down to color and you can just click it so we have it like that and I'm gonna make it just a little bit darker I'm actually gonna make this gray right, that looks pretty good press OK you can add bevel and emboss and contour to make it look good and then after you have that make a new layer and for the uh, go to your paintbrush tool and we're gonna be using uh, a set of wings it's a brush I will put a link in the description so there's a lot of cool brushes that they have but you wanna drag this layer under your shield I'm gonna make this color red for the wing actually I'm gonna make it white and We'll try out different things here. That looks good. So once you have it the way you want it, uh, right click it, press duplicate layer, or command J, and then once you're on the copy, hold down, actually first go to image, uh, sorry, Edit, transform, flip horizontal, and then hold down command on a Mac or a control with a Dell and use the arrow keys to go to the right. By doing this it keeps it on the same level. And that looks just about right. And then right click the the copy and go to merge down so it's on the same layer. Then double click that or right click and go to blending options. I'm gonna drop the shadow. I'm gonna give it an outer glow, make it normal. 
click this, I'm gonna make it black. And I usually go to color overlay and make the color white. It just looks better. And that should be it. You can add bevel and voice and contour. And that's what I'm gonna do. So you have that, which so far I gotta say it looks pretty badass. So make a new layer, put it above everything else, go to your text tool, just click on the shield. I'm gonna put uh put your name, I'm gonna do Havoc, which is my gamer tag, or the second part of my gamer tag. And I'm gonna change the color to white. Um, I'm using mobile infantry, but I really don't like that uh, font. So I'm gonna try some other stuff out. All right, so uh, I'm gonna use the font ethnocentric. If you want the font, I will put it in the description. And it's a pretty cool font. And I'll just center this out. And there we go. Alright, so double click it to get the effects, drop the shadow, give it an outer glow, make it uh, blend mode normal, 100% opacity, I'm going to make the color black, or you can make it white, eh. then go to gradient overlay, oh, sorry not, color overlay, and make it white, and I'm actually going to make it overlay it just makes it look sharper although it's pretty hard to see but it makes a difference alright and then we are going to make a new layer and this is going to be the background brush layer so we're gonna put it behind everything except the background game battles color I'm gonna go to our brushes I have a cool like texture brush and what I mean by that is like brushes like this they're pretty cool brushes and um, in a second I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it okay. I hate when they come out like huge like how it's uh 2,500 pixels or whatever. Hmm. I had this good one, but I can't find it. Half my brushes are gone for some reason. Alright, well, I'm just going to go with this one. So, I put it down. Actually, I'm going to make it smaller, so... It's more detailed. Like that. Now I'm going to click it a bunch of times. So it's like that, and then... I'm going to go to my eraser tool. And... I am going to make sure that the eraser brush is set at the texture that I used to do the um to paint brush it and I'm going to just go like this you know I'm not really taking out all of it making it look natural and stuff like all squared not like someone actually took an eraser so just you trim the edges like that it looks pretty good. Alright, so we have that. And... Yeah. That's pretty much it for the brush part. Now I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm actually going to pause the video because I have to get one of my renders out. Alright, so I got one of my renders. And if you don't know what a render is, it's um almost like a texture that you can add to your... Uh, to your pictures or projects in Photoshop to make it like look like metal and to get renders you can go to planetrender.com I will leave a descript uh, link in the description so in my new layer I go to file place and let this load it's on the desktop 
Oh, jeez. That was stupid. Place. I get this. It's a pretty sick, like, granity texture. Sand, I guess. And I'm gonna make it uh, screen. And place the file. Put the layer behind everything, except. And you have it like that. Then I'm going to take my eraser tool. Rasterize the layer. Oh, jeez. And I'm going to repeat the same thing that I did for the white part. And that looks pretty good. Alright, now, once again, make a new layer. Now, this layer is going to be above everything. And you're going to want to go to your pen tool. Make sure it is on this right here. Pen tool, not freeform or any sort of custom shape. And I'm going to click right here and click somewhere over here to make start making curves. I'm just going to do this quick for the sake, sake of time. Sorry about that. Someone's calling me. So I'm going to make a curve. And I'm just going to go like that. And you're going to go to your brush tool. Oh, that's not it. Brush tool. Go all the way up. Click. Uh, actually, find where the uh, normal ones are. Click 9. Make sure it is whatever color you want. I'm going to make it white. And go back to your pen tool. Right click the line. Go to stroke path. Make sure it is on brush. And simulate pressures on. Pre press OK. You have that. Now right click again and click delete path. And you should have something that comes out like that. Oh wait. It's actually not above everything. There we go. So you have something like that. Now, double click to get effects. I'm going to give it an outer glow, bevel and emboss, and contour. And I'm going to make this normal. I'm going to make it a black outer glow to make it look like that, which is pretty sick. And you're going to want to click on the one that looks like a hill or a mountain almost. It just makes it better, as you can see. When I click it on and off, it's, it's a little different. Make the opacity 100. Now go to your eraser tool. Make sure it is in an, a normal eraser. And just erase like that. So it shows like the line going behind the shield and then coming out again. And it looks like the line is wrapping around the shield, which gives it a cool effect. And then once you have that, I'm going to make new layer go to my brushes hopefully I have the star some people like to put stars on their game battles logos it shows that they're good you know saying that they're five star like rep or whatever and I don't have it anymore but I will put a link in the description to get stars so usually that I put a star here 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 and then two on the bottom and I give it an outer glow and stuff and that's pretty much it that's how you make a simple but awesome uh, game battle signature um, if this video gets enough likes maybe ten or so I will make a tutorial on how to make a really cool animated signature using Photoshop and um, before I end off on this video um, I became a graphics designer so if you're looking for YouTube layouts uh, YouTube backgrounds game battles logos signatures desktop backgrounds or just maybe editing for montages uh, send me or Captain Clutch 16 a message and uh, yeah it would be pretty cool to sponsor someone thank you guys for watching this is Explicit Havoc peace out